I came out here today because my son has been missing since 2007. For 16 years, Connie Elston has been searching for her son, Benjamin Clemens Kalina. February 14th, he didn't show up for work. His colleagues called in to the North Glen Police Department. He was 27 years old when he disappeared. Today, Benjamin would be 42. And ever since, I've done my DNA. Um, I've done whatever I can to find him. Connie and other families here today are at an annual event, Missing in Colorado, hosted by the Colorado Bureau of Investigation. Like keeping that hope alive that something could change at some point. Audrey really Simpkins scary. is an investigative analyst with CBI. So today we have 1,281 active missing persons in Colorado. She says 580 of those people have been missing for a year or more. 388 of them are kids. So if we can provide some support and just some other to-do steps um, that make them feel like they're part of the process and that they're doing something, that can be really helpful, I think. At this event, families can speak with investigators and provide them with additional information, like dental and medical records. There's also victim advocates, other resources, and emotional support that connects them with others going through similar loss. After it's been going on for a while, we want to provide some support to those families as well. Support focused on people like Connie, refusing to give up searching for their loved ones. You know, just some of the whys. That would be great if we knew. Before I die, I'd like to know what happened. I don't know if I want to know the details of it, but I want to know why. Courtney Yoon, 9 News. CBI wants to remind the public that endangered missing person alerts, they might just be one step away from becoming an Amber Alert. So anytime you see those alerts come through, please take them seriously.